This is how I previously generated articles. This is how I do it now using NA10. So first of all, it starts off with my chat. Now, what I'll do is I'll use an app called Voice Inc. So if I go to Voice Inc, this will allow me to transcribe my voice into a chat. So I'll either do that, or I could either do it with a transcribe lock, which I'll add on at the later stage. But what I'll do right now is I'll say, this is how you record a lecture in NATN, and this is how you can automate your business processes. So I just press this key over here. We'll be transcribing down here, and there we have our transcription, which is not perfect, but you can always edit it. And what I'll do is I'll send this as my input, whatever the topic may be, and that will go into essentially four article writers. And why do we have four? Well, essentially, I want to find out who writes the best articles because sometimes, you know, Gemini has its moments and writes really great articles. Sometimes it's open router with a different model, so I can try different models out here. So I found Gemma 3, the 27 billion parameter model to be fairly good at writing articles. I've got Gemini Flash and OpenAI with 4.1. And sometimes I try the, the 4.1 mini, which works fairly well. So I've got four article writers and let's look at the system prompts. I'm just going to expand it over here. So I start off with saying you are an expert article writer. Write an article that's between 1 to 2,000 words for augmented AI. And I try a story-driven approach. I give it my persona. Now, when it comes to writing articles, you have to make sure that you all at least know what your mission and vision statements are and also have a corporate identity. If you don't know how to do that, I'll show you in our corporate automation library which we have recently launched so you can check that out in the link down below but essentially what you are trying to achieve you want to try and get the ai to know more about you and your company and what i did was i took the books story brand and the one page marketing plan and from story brand what i did was i asked it to create me my persona or corporate identity in the form of the sp7 framework so this is the framework from story brand which allows you to say okay this is my character he has a villain and which is the obstacles and he encounters a guide that helps him figure out how to overcome his problem and then eventually comes up with a plan that helps him get to either success or, and try to avoid failure so that's a very cool book you should definitely check it out the other one is the one page marketing plan which essentially gives you a way to structure what you want to do in your business and to come up with a framework to ensure a high probability of success so that you're not just doing just about anything like I was a while back. I found that the one page marketing plan really gave me some structure in my business. So that's just some background business stuff that you can check out. I gave it the writing blueprint. I said, follow Matt Gray, who's my mentor. And he has some really great content on how to grow on LinkedIn and create organic systems, which I found that were pretty amazing. Right, then I tell it, okay, we need to start off with a hook. It can be personal, conversational or contrarian. And we go into the problem. We find the aha moment. From there, we go into the system or framework that we're going to teach. So there's a lot to cover in the system prompt. I'll have it in the link down below. So if you want to grab that, type out AI automation in the comments down below and you'll get the exact prompt that I use right over here. Moving on. Then because all of these outputs are more or less the same and to avoid any sort of confusion, I gave them new variable names. So this is AI one output and below is just AI2, AI3, AI4 and then I merge all of them together. Now there's obviously better ways to do this. I went and asked uh, ChatGPT or rather Claude to help me concatenate all of these together so that it processes it as one block instead of having to go through each and every one so having four iterations of the articles. So what's essentially happening here is we're taking all of these articles and i'm asking my gemini review agent or the editor to look at all of these articles pick the one that's the best and then maybe do some minor edits to see maybe you can get rid of some ai lingo like game changer or this is the kicker and the worst one the one that i hate so far is it says it's not about this it's about that you see it everywhere and you instantly know it's AI. So I tell it to try and avoid that at all costs. And what we have over here is a block to create a document in Google Docs. So obviously you have to set up your credentials. I'll show you how in 
our corporate automation library. And this will just go ahead and say, let's create a brand new document at this location in my drive. And let's call it article, for example. And then this would normally sit much earlier in your workflow. I have another automation that I'll show you of how I automated this whole process as well. And then we tell Gemini agent, okay, once you have created your article, go ahead and use the tool to upload it to Google Drive and in the form of a Google Doc. So I have it over here. I have a bookmark, so I save time and you'll see my automated newsletter right over here. So if you're wondering, okay, how did I get images over here? Well, these are still manually created. So once we have created our article, we embed these images. I do them manually in Photoshop or Affinity Photo. Uh, you can even use Canva if you want to. And essentially, I just add in screenshots of whatever I'm working on. Whenever you finish the article, automatically add in this image URL and then it embeds it into the article, which is which saves me a lot of time having to upload that single image all the time. And then the final one is upload to Medium. Now you can upload it to your blog, or Substack by the unofficial API. There's many ways to do this. What I found was uh, when I tried uploading to Medium, I think the API is sort of outdated and I was unable to use the Medium tool. So I just use a simple HTTP node and I have my own little thing running over here. It's called medium underscore webhook.py. What I did was I created code that will allow me to upload to Medium. All I had to do was feed it the title, the content, some tags, any other things that I wanted to add and make sure that it publishes in draft. So this thing runs as a server and it essentially uploads directly to Medium, which is pretty cool. Now I could have done it here in NA10, but I was having a lot of problems, but I, I think having the server just makes it so much easier. Once it has all of the stuff, it has the content, it has the tags, whatever I need and boom, Bob's your uncle. And yeah, that's my entire level two workflow. I have a I have an even more advanced version of this where we have automatic document creation with unique names and it has a LinkedIn post generator, simple hook generator using a secret prompt that gets me thousands of views and impressions on LinkedIn. And if you want to know how I did this, you can check this video right up here.